Phoenix, Arizona has produced one of the best family associations in the sport of boxing, one of the few that has really worked. It's the home of Michael Carbajal, flyweight champion, and the home in which he and his brother Danny both grew up. Danny is now his manager and trainer, and together they have taken Michael to the heights in boxing. But it's a mistake to think that Danny is not his own man, because he is. In his own quiet and forceful way, he makes his presence felt. We just work well together. It's everything um, just comes together. Um, you know, Danny does his part, and I do my part. He does all the business and, and, and all the training part, and we just get along with each other. We've always got along, you know, uh, as, as a family, as, as brothers. We never, uh, uh, I, didn't, I didn't think about, you know, like father-son relationships or brothers in, in the sport. We just held it as, as, as brothers and then separate brothers from trainer and boxer. Since Michael Carbajal captured the silver medal in the 1988 Olympics, the Carbajals have helped put small fighters back on the pro boxing map. Fighting in the 108-pound junior flyweight division, Michael ripped through the competition to capture an NABF title just two years after the Olympics. He continued his rapid climb with his first world title just five months later, in July of 1990. His success has made Michael one of the most recognizable fighters of the 90s. His bouts with Humberto Chiquita Gonzalez have developed into a growing rivalry that draws global attention and audiences as well. And while the man with the little hands of stone is basking in the ever-growing spotlight, his brother Danny has quietly handled the training and the day-to-day -day details. Happy to let Michael have the glory, Danny remains modest about success that he never imagined. I never thought about it as a career. It was just, just for, I, I liked it, you know, and that was it. I had another brother, Alex, who wanted to box also, and I, I started to work with him. Uh, but, you know, this sport is, is, is difficult. You have to have a lot of dedication to it. And for Alex, it, it started out okay, and then afterwards he just, you know, oh, I, I don't want to train today. I don't, okay, fine. You know, I said, let's leave it alone then, because it's, it's not for you. And then Michael came along. I mean, he was there every day. He couldn't wake me up sometimes. Careful not to disturb the drive that has pushed Michael to greatness, Danny discovered an effective training style. In a sport full of big egos and volatile personalities, Danny's ringside demeanor might best be described as laid back. There you go. All the time he tells me something, it always works. So um, he just, a lot of knowledge. And um, when I come back to the ring, he, he come back to the corner all the time. He's very, very relaxed. And um, he just studies to see what the guy is doing. and. and all the time he tells me to do something, it works. You, you pick up different things from everybody. Every trainer has something that they do, that they teach to everyone. And you see it on film, and you pick it up. Uh, there's, not, there's no trainer that can tell me that he done it all by himself. Because every trainer learns from everybody else. For all their success in the ring, the Carbajals have remained true to their roots. Still living in the Phoenix neighborhood where they grew up, Danny and Michael have established Carbajal's 9th Street Gym in an old church a couple of blocks from their home. Michael trains there every day, along with an ever-growing stable of fighters who are now under Danny's management. And they include former world champ, Louis Espinoza. Training world-class fighters is one purpose of the 9th Street Gym, but the facility has another mission as well. As soon as school bells ring, there the gym is, invaded by kids from the neighborhood. This is something that we thought about since after the Olympics, and um, the main thing was to keep the kids off the streets, and um, I think, uh, you know, I was thinking about that because uh, the boxing, and when I trained in the backyard, um, it kept me away from the streets and kept me off the trouble. In an era where reestablishing family values seems to be a priority, the Carbajals have never lost theirs. Danny and Michael have kept their feet firmly planted on the ground in Phoenix by not letting their success in the ring interfere with the values that their late father instilled in them. Basically, everything is, is patterned after the things that he taught me 
and to live, how to live. Uh, you know, he said, uh, you have to be able to, to, to trust each other. You, there's, there can't be nothing uh, in the back of your mind questioning, is, is, am I doing right for my brother? Is my brother doing right for me? Uh, you, you have to have a complete trust in each other and know that every time we do something, that I do something, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it for, for, for the benefit of, 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 of Mike because I don't want nothing to happen to him. Danny Carbajal, a man filled with humility, but a man who has achieved a lot in the sport of boxing. And I dare say he'll continue to achieve well after his brother Michael has retired from the sport.